Sounds like a lot of. Hoopla! Sounds like a lot of. Hoopla! Sounds like a. Hoopla! Neither of these sides really know how to play any other way than competitively. The crowd anticipating a game with plenty of spice. I don't think they're going to be disappointed. What's the hoop, everyone? It's the war winning commentator. And welcome to Dutch Oven, Episode 1, Redonculus. Now, I've been playing FIFA since 2007. It was really 2006 World Cup Edition that got me interested in playing this game. If you know me, you know I love sports, so naturally, I would buy sports video games. But the thing I love about FIFA, compared to any other sports video game out there, it's just fun, fast-paced action. Soccer is not my favorite sport. My favorite sport by far is baseball, but we'll never pick up a baseball game for this reason. You'll tell your opponent strikes only and he will agree. Then he goes up by one run and next thing you know, balls in the dirt all day long. Same thing with football. There's usually four players people run on Madden. Number one is the quarterback scramble with Michael Vick, another fast quarterback. Number two is the bubble screen, guaranteed to give you a touchdown every single play. Then of course the Hail Mary on first, second, third, and fourth down. And then the manual control wide receiver going all the way down. Unrealistic throws. And the thing I love about FIFA, it's just fun, fast, short-paced action. Game plays do not last 30 minutes. Great 10 minute games. Get a lot of games in an hour if your parents have a curfew when you're playing games. Now FIFA is the one sports game I have bought on a regular basis. If you want to argue there's another sports game out there that is fun, fast paced action, you can put NHL in that category. But then there's a glitch. On NHL there's one glitch. I used to play the number one guy on GB and what he did was a wraparound glitch. He went left, right, left, right and then scored a goal. The thing I love about 2007 FIFA was there was a glitch that everyone utilized. It was the goalie. Goalie kick it out right to the defender. Defender would chip it all the way down. Forward get a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Juke him out. Make him look foolish. And that's how you score. But back in 2007, it was a lot different from the 2012-2013 community we were in right now. They taught you to go wide. They taught you to cross the ball in with Peter Crouch. You know, the man that's composed entirely of golf clubs. The great, great tall forward. Everyone knows who he is if you're a soccer fan or football fan, I'm sorry, if you're on another part of the world. But as you can tell right now, I am just destroying this team. It's these kind of games on FIFA, they just want to quit. You're already at 4 nothing, as you can tell. My goals may be considered as sweaty. If you don't know what sweaty means, then watch one of my good buddies, Weird Peeler's videos. He has amazing, amazing stuff over there. Swing over by his channel, tell him what's the hoopla. Now, why make a team composed entirely of Dutch players? Well, very simple. My heritage is Dutch. I believe my great-grandparents came over from the Netherlands. I just love the brilliant men in orange. Now, the thing I love about FIFA, there's always are changing their game engines. And the best thing about FIFA, compared to any other sports game out there, their players look realistic. I mean, of course, their fan sections don't look anything like it. It's like the, the swinging back and forth Wii graphics. But I remember myself a dead ball foul right here. Lin's going to chip her right in. Get a nice Guido fist punch by the goalie. Lindsay going to go track it down. And don't you just love these purple jerseys? FYI, purple is the color of royalty. Even though the Dutch play is orange. Orange is my backup jersey. I just have to go with the purple jersey. Nice cross in the middle. And go! Huntela with a beautiful goal! You just got to love FIFA for that reason. Back in the World Cup was going on. I remember my dad. He would always swing over to the international channels. We always listened to the Spanish channel. Because they have the best interpretation on saying the word goal. Take out the A and it sounds like a whole different word. It's amazing. I'm trying to get a nice long strike right there. I'm already at 5 nothing at halftime. Now as you can tell, FIFA, I'm not a skiller. I'm not one of these people that are going to embarrass you. I win by passing. The same reason why the Dutch are effective when they play soccer. Possession. But as you saw in the beginning, maybe not because it's quick annotation. I don't really care about possession when it comes to this game. And I'm still waiting for my opponent to quit. It's 5 nothing. He hasn't really done anything. Believe this or not, he has not got a shot on goal yet. And I don't understand why. I mean, FIFA is pretty simple to get a score on. Uh, yes, the defenders are getting better. And the thing I love about Ultimate Team, I mean, right here, he gets a red red card. This is just, you can tell kind of where this game's going. I'm just waiting for him to quit. The thing I love about Ultimate Team is the coins. I mean, I jumped, I jumped on FIFA 12 late because I wasn't sure about it. But now I'm going to get a nice David Beckham. Almost a goal. That's not my best part about this game. I'm not great at these dead ball fouls. I'm hoping someone in the comment section below can help me get better. That's what I'm hoping this series will do. But the thing I love about Ultimate Team with the whole coin aspect is you can't build your best team. Yes, if you want to spend real money and go out there and build the best team possible, you can. And we appeal are probably yelling at me right now, asking me, why am I shooting with that foot? I should have shot with the other foot, as you can tell right here. I believe I went with uh, 
the left foot or right foot from our angle. And, you know, with Lenz, he has a powerful right foot. It just went the wrong way. But on myself, another corner. Affili in the middle. Get a nice chip. Not really sure what happens. But Lenz is going to bury it in the bottom left-hand corner with a powerful strike. And he gets a Jason Pierre-Paul. Amazing thing with uh, signature Usain Bolt. Probably get sued by Puma for saying that. I do apologize. Now let's dive right into my ultimate team. The formation I am using for this team is a 4-3-2-1, and the worst part about this team is my defense. The Dutch are known for having great forwards, and the defense is a 79 rating if you look at it worldwide, not a great ratio. So the worst part about my defense is my left back, and right now there are no gold players available in a 4-3-2-1 formation, so for a while I switched over to 5 defenders, and that just wasn't that great for me. 4-3-2-1 is not the formation I always use. I've not used it through all the FIFAs. I think I normally used uh, a 2-1-3-4 or something like that. So let me know in the comment section below what kind of formation I should build for this series. The next thing you know about the Dutch players, they are very expensive to have on your team. So I do not have the Robins or the Schneiders or the Van der Vaart, so I'm trying to work my way up to get them. But the great thing about the Dutch, they have amazing development players. As I titled this series, Redonkulous, Ryan Donk is going to make the national team. He's a silver player, and I highly recommend him if you're trying to build a Dutch oven of your own. Now, this game is pretty much out of hand. We're already in stoppage time. He's down a man. As you can tell, he finally got two shots on goal, and he's trying to get a nice foul here. I'm seeing if I can do any skill moves, get a wide open middle, Moses parts to Red Sea, and I'm going to try to chip it. I don't make it. It gets along. I'm going to try to go back. Instead of just crossing, I want to see if I can skill him. I've seen all these other people on YouTube do it. That's the main thing about this series. I want to become a skiller. I know I can do it. It's just a matter of, matter of actually learning how to do it, not just moving your analog stick back and forth like a few other players. And FIFA is just a great game. I'm not really sure if I'm going to buy FIFA 13. Hopefully I will because the engine looks amazing. Now I get another corner kick. Get a nice powerful header right at the goalie, unfortunately, and I cannot go up 10-0, guys. But thank you for watching episode 1 of Dutch Oven. My opponent does what should have did a long time ago. He rage quits. Guys, there's my team right there. Hope all is well. More videos coming very soon.